and Sven van Beek has accepted. He has now joined our team and he is 77 rated. So Pione Sisto could be joining our team. If you need coins, go ahead and use the code in the description below. It is Johnny for FIFA Coin Zone. And also, if you want to play for some real money, go ahead and click the link for GamerSaloon.com and sign up. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and as you can see, we are back with another episode of the Bristol City career mode. Currently, we are in the BPL. This is the second episode in the BPL. If you guys didn't see the first episode, please check that out before you watch this one, because we have made some big transfers, some big changes in the team, and currently, we are sitting in the 14th spot. Hopefully, we can at least get to that spot because our goal in this season is to remain in the BPL. And guys, you have not really noticed that Efulo is a guy with exciting prospect on him. So this guy could grow into an amazing striker. He has already some decent physical stats, but hopefully in the skill stats, he will improve in the future. And today, our first game in the BPL and also right before the transfer window ends, will be against Liverpool, the team I support in the BPL. And currently, we do have a really strong but young and not really experienced team. The only one that is experienced is Flint, and I don't really know if he ever played in the BPL. But now, it is us playing against this team, Liverpool, with some weird signings. Ribéry with the 27 on his back. This guy is now playing for Liverpool. For some reason, he made it over there. That's an amazing thing to see for me, especially because I'm a Bayern supporter as well. I am quite surprised about Ribéry going to Liverpool. That would have been an amazing transfer, but nowadays I think Ribéry is kind of done. He's... He's getting injured way too often. Douglas Costa is playing some amazing football already at Bayern Munich. And if Ribéry comes back from, in, from his injury, it will be quite tough for him to get back into the team. If you guys know Bayern Munich, if you guys support them, let me know in the comments down below if you think Ribéry will be back at his full strength when he comes back from his injury. But enough talk about Ribéry. We are playing against Liverpool currently. But we do keep possession quite well. It is kind of 50-50 right now. But they had more chances. Liverpool obviously the stronger team. And it was expected from them to have the first chances. Then I took a chance with this pass. Andre now will pass it over to Cornet. And his shot is sadly not going in. That was actually the first proper chance for our team in the second half. Andre now on the ball once again. Passing it over to Haim. Sisto could score his first goal in the BPL. But he doesn't do it. And Sisto again with the cross. And Cornet tries to head it. It doesn't work out for our team. Very unlucky in both of these positions. Straight after that, I had to make some changes. Fulu, Senorelli and Zelalem are joining into the team. In order to maybe go ahead and score that one goal to get us the lucky victory. We are playing at home, so it would be quite nice to get three points against Liverpool. Take a look at this. A really nice cross coming in. And it is a goal from Efulu. Could you guys believe it? Take a look at this. It is actually Efulu with the header. But no, hold on. It's not a Fulu. It it was the goalkeeper. It was the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper Miyole scored into his own net. That is just that is just perfect. I don't care who scored. I just wanted to get that goal in. And Liverpool did have their last chance in the 90th minute. And we have won against Spurs in the last episode. And against Liverpool in this episode. Keep in mind we are playing on legendary. So it was quite amazing for me to beat Liverpool. At this level with this team. I mean this team. The only thing that is my advantage is that I know this team in and out. I know every single player. I know what they are capable of doing. So maybe that is a big strength of mine. Currently we are sitting in the 8th spot. And you can see that uh, our goal is to finish mid-table and also to reach the quarter-final in the cup. And talking about the cup, our next opponent in the Capital One Cup was Fulham. And even though it was quite risky for me to sim this game. I really felt like, hey, if I want to get forward in a cup, it should be the FA Cup. So I really wanted to go and try and uh, get into the quarterfinal in the FA Cup. I actually wanted to lose this game. Let me be honest, I wanted to lose this Capital One Cup game. But Corne just said no. He scored a goal against Fulham and we got past him into the next round of the Capital One Cup. 
Then I was looking for some youngsters to loan out. Some some players who were not really the highest rated ones, but looked like really good talent. And Paul Elliott from um, Everton is an Irish left midfielder, or sorry, uh, right midfielder with a left foot. That's the way to put it. And he accepted, or better said, his team accepted to loan him out. He will be joining us for 9k and uh, he will be playing for our team. He does have some decent stats on him. Let's take a look at his stats. Right here, he is 69 rated, really good acceleration, good sprint speed on him, and also decent stamina, uh, 67 stamina right there. But most importantly, I need someone who can play on the winger position as a backup. Currently, we don't really have anyone, so I was really going forward and looking for some decent players who can play on the wings. Then I was looking through the, mid uh, through the players who were playing in England, and I found Keshi Kai. This guy... He's a right back, 18 years old, and he kind of reminded me of Batra Aregal at the start. I mean, Batra Aregal for Crystal Palace was an amazing player. Obviously, we bought him, but uh, Keshi Kai is not really on his level, but I feel like this guy could be an amazing talent. So we loaned him out, and by loaning out these players, I'm actually planning on getting them to a higher level. This guy is already 70 rated. I mean, his physical stats are amazing. And he also looks like a proper defender. 72 stand tackle. He's already 70 rated. 6 foot tall. I mean, what more could you ask for in a right back? This boy really looks good. And uh, the one thing I'm trying to do with these loans are to try out certain players and buy them on, or, or better said, buy them in the future. So that's the one thing I'm trying to do with these loan offers, especially with young players like Elliot and uh, K. His name was K. And you can see right here that Luke Freeman is actually finally leaving the team for 1.3 million to Middlesbrough. He hasn't been effective at all throughout the whole career mode. He wasn't good for me. I have to point that out. So that's the main reason why I'm selling Luke Freeman. And then I also wanted to loan out Adam, Adam Davies because I had another goalkeeper on the bench right now. His name is Cochran, I think. And that guy is uh, seeming to be a really decent talent, uh, better than Davies. So Davies will be loaned out and whenever our goalkeeper gets injured, our first team goalkeeper gets injured, uh, who is Gabriel, we will go ahead and play the youngster who we have in the reserves team right now. Charlie Jervis is a young talent, 15 years old, 52 to 58 overall, but 85 to 94 potential as centre back. So getting him, getting him on the 1st of May wouldn't be that bad because the physical stats don't really need to be really, really amazing for a centre back. So he could join our team on the 1st of May. I mean, the only thing I care about in his physical stats for a centre back would be stamina and his strength. So hopefully we can get him in the 1st of May or on the 1st of May and uh, that would be a great signing. And guys, if I'm talking a bit weird today, it's because I was at the dentist. So I had uh, some stuff uh, worked on in my mouth and hopefully you guys don't mind me still doing a commentary because I really felt like I don't want to miss out today. I really enjoyed this episode while I was recording it, so I really wanted to get it out. If you guys enjoyed it, please smash that like button, but there is still a long way to go. Maxwell Cornet wants a new contract. This guy was asking for 25k and currently I can only offer him around 21k and that's a big problem. Even after adjusting the budget, I can't give him the, mo give him the money. And um, that really pisses me off because I really don't want Maxwell Cornet to be pissed off at Bristol City and maybe leave in the upcoming transfer window. So currently, the one thing I will do when I get some money is to give him the contract he wants. Harrison Reed already grew. Pione Sisto now 73 rated. This boy is growing in his phys physical stats, mental stats and technical stats. Luke Haim just doesn't stop growing. Mohamed El Yunusi now 73 rated. He wasn't growing last season but now he's growing once again. Andri sadly only growing in his mental stats. That's something we have to fix in the January transfer window. Hopefully we'll be able to do so. But our next opponent in the BPL was Burnley, a team that I feel like is on the same level as we are. I really feel like our team can compete with them. But because of that fact, because of the fact that they are a low rated team, they were fighting. They were really fighting to get that point and at least one point. They really wanted to get the win. And you can see right here, it is them attacking in the early minutes. And they had two decent chances until the 10th minute. So I was getting quite worried. 
This is our first attack. Harrison Reed with the pass to Luke Hayem and his shot, his long shot, will be saved by the goalkeeper. That could have been a really nice goal. Luke Hayem obviously tries to score one of those very often. Sisto now gets the ball in the defensive area, passes it over to Andre, who's through in the 30th minute. Andre with the big chance, but he gets taken down. Andre gets us the penalty and that should have been a red card as well in my opinion but the referee decides to only give the penalty and I decided to give it to Maxwell Cornet. Bakuna is the best penalty taker but Cornet is a striker so he needs these goals to or, uh, in order to be happy and Cornet will smash it into the top right corner is this another win for Bristol City after the win against Liverpool this could be an amazing match for us getting a two win streak going on in the BPL especially with a low rated team like this that is an amazing thing to see but Burnley did miss an amazing opportunity to score I mean that could have been or better said should have been a goal for them so far we had 51% possession and that is really guys I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this I actually really changed my playing style because of the BPL season. It's not like I'm playing the same playing style like I did last season. I'm actually trying to go ahead and keep possession in order to prevent goals like these. I really try, but obviously it won't always work. Burnley were able to score from a really nice passing play and Harrison Reed sadly couldn't get that tackle done properly. I don't know, that was actually a really nice slide tackle, but they were able to get to it and cross it in and score it. 64th minute, they had another big chance and they did hit the post. So Burnley were trying to go ahead and get that second goal in as well. They were trying to get everything now. Three points for them was the only thing they were going for. But Andre comes up with the goal in the 68th minute. Cornet with the cross and Andre with the header. These two are used to each other already and they are just going through the BPL season or better said starting off really nicely and Andre is scoring once again something that I really wanted to see because so far Cornet has been dominating this season as you can see another chance for Cornet right there but Andre is just a complete finisher this guy is amazing and I'm really happy with my strikers I'm not planning on selling any one of them only if we get an amazing like incredible offer like I did in the Schalke career mode for Teixeira and Elliot joined into the game and he will actually get the assist because the defense is making a big mistake Burnley is not able to hold on to that ball I was pressing up high I was pressuring up high and uh, we actually were able to score another goal with Andre after Elliot got into the game and then uh, got the ball off the defender, passed it over to Andre and that's a really nice goal for our team and our defending was on point. Our captain Flint right there made the right tackle in the right moment. That's also one thing I really think I improved on because playing with a lower rated team you are much more concentrated and you really feel like you have to perform, you cannot let it slip. And talking about letting it slip, <coughs> Gerard, uh, you can see right here that I actually conceded. Yes, 3-2. Um, Burnley are back into this game. Seven minutes to go. I just had to hold on to the possession. And that's exactly what I did. 90th minute, it's done. We have won this game. 3-2 against Burnley. A win against Liverpool and a win against Burnley. It's another three points for Bristol City. And Maxwell Cornet was the man of the match. He got a goal and an assist. A great job from him. And after that, we had to simulate a game. The only game we can probably simulate in this career mode against Norwich City. Another team that made it through the promotion to get into the BPL. And Cornet and Andre were able to score. So that's nine points in three games for Bristol City. It seems like we are doing much better than we were expected to do. And this game right here, or better said, this team right here is my reserves team currently, guys. I've changed it up. You can see that this is our reserves team. And we are playing in another round of the Capital One Cup. And as I said, I'm not really interested in getting really far in this one. So I played the reserves team and we actually won it with Seniorelli, Blackman and Cole scoring and one 
or better said someone in the comments down below said that Blackman, the young talent that we have in our team, if you put his stats into the camp position, he would be 77 rated. So, so thank you so much for telling me about that. I really like hearing stuff like that. Uh, the first time that happened was with uh, Mark Swift from Crystal Palace. And it seems like Blackman is also a hidden gem. So this boy could be an important player in the future of this team as well. I think he's an exciting prospect as well. Or at least he does have great potential on him. And this is something you won't see every single episode. Trust me, boys. This is just a really big occasion right here. Bristol City is in the top three. That is incredible. How the hell did we make it into the top three with this team on legendary difficulty? I am actually really surprised. But I really wanted to ask you, assistant coaches... How can I go ahead and get some money for Maxwell Cornet? Currently, I only have 12k in the wage budget and 35k in the transfer budget. I need to do something about this before he really wants to leave in the January transfer window. So if you guys have any suggestions except a financial takeover, please let me know. I'd really like to know how to work this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now, enjoy the Assistant Coaches Showcase.